A new study released by TransUnion shows that consumers with multiple account relationships with a given lender dramatically outperform consumers that have only one relationship with that lender. In other words, there is a clear loyalty effect associated with having more than one relationship with a bank or a credit union. The most dramatic loyalty effect was seen in the first mortgage space. In December of 2009, consumers with only a single mortgage with a given lender had an average delinquency rate of about 4.8%. If they had three relationships with that lender, that delinquency rate dropped to 2.8%, which is a really significant 42% drop. The more relationships they had, the better that delinquency became. If they had five or more relationships with the lender, the delinquency rate on the mortgage they had with the lender dropped to 1.9%, which is a staggering 60% drop. Some people might think that the difference in delinquency as a function of number of relationships is actually due to a difference in credit scores. In other words, People with more relationships with a given lender have better credit scores on average, and hence lower delinquency. Well, we took a look at that in this study, and we found that even when controlling for credit scores, delinquency dropped significantly, particularly in the near-prime and subprime credit segments. This is really good news for lenders and borrowers alike, because it allows people that historically have constrained access to credit a new channel to get credit in relationships that are often quite profitable for lenders. Loyalty is built far more effectively in bad times than in good. When credit is readily available, consumers can go to many different places to get the credit that they seek. But in bad times, borrowers really remember those lenders who give them credit to help them through a short-term liquidity crisis, or give them credit when other lenders will not. Now clearly, lenders must be thorough and, and analytically astute in determining who to give credit to and whom not to. Our study suggests, however, that that evaluation should include a consideration of how the extension of credit will affect existing customer relationships and long-term profitability.